McGill University is an English-language public research university in Montreal, Canada. It was officially founded by royal charter issued by King George IV in 1821. The university bears the name of James McGill, a prominent Montreal merchant from Scotland whose bequest in 1813 formed precursory McGill College. McGill's main campus is set at the foot of Mount Royal in downtown Montreal, with the second campus situated near fields and forested lands in St. Anne de Bellevue, also on the Montreal island, 30 kilometers west of the main campus. All the academic units are organized into 11 main faculties and schools. The university is one of two members of the Association of American Universities located outside the United States. McGill offers degrees and diplomas in over 300 fields of study, with the highest average admission grade of any Canadian university. Most students are enrolled in the five larger faculties, namely arts, science, medicine, engineering, and management. Tuition fees vary significantly between in-province, out-of-province, and international students, as well as between faculties. Scholarships are generous, yet highly competitive and relatively difficult to attain, compared to other institutions of higher learning in the country. McGill counts among its alumni 12 Nobel laureates and 140 Rhodes Scholars, both the most in the country, as well as three astronauts, three Canadian Prime Ministers, 13 Justices of the Canadian Supreme Court, four foreign leaders, 28 foreign ambassadors, nine Academy Award winners, three Pulitzer Prize winners, and 28 Olympic medalists. Throughout its long history, McGill alumni were instrumental in inventing or initially organizing football, basketball, and ice hockey. McGill University or its alumni also founded several major universities and colleges, including the Universities of British Columbia, Victoria, Alberta, Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, and Dawson College. History Royal Institution for the Advancement of Learning The Royal Institution for the Advancement of Learning was created in 1801 under an Act of the Legislative Assembly of Lower Canada, an Act for the Establishment of Free Schools and the Advancement of Learning in this province. In 1816 the Riel was authorized to operate two new royal grammar schools, in Quebec City and in Montreal. This was a turning point for public education in Lower Canada as the schools were created by legislation, the District Public Schools Act of 1807, which showed the government's willingness to support the cost of education and even the salary of a schoolmaster. This was an important first step in the creation of non-denominational schools. When James McGill died in 1813 his bequest was administered by the Real. The original two royal grammar schools closed in 1846 and by the mid-19th century the Real lost control of the other 82 grammar schools it had administered. Its sole remaining purpose was to administer the McGill bequest on behalf of the private college. The Real continues to exist today, it is the corporate identity that runs the university and its various constituent bodies including the former Macdonald College, the Montreal Neurological Institute and the Royal Victoria College. Since the revised Royal Charter of 1852, the trustees of the Real comprise the Board of Governors of McGill University. McGill College James McGill, born in Glasgow, Scotland on 6 October 1744, was a successful English and French-speaking merchant in Quebec. Having matriculated into Glasgow University in 1756, between 1811 and 1813, he drew up a will leaving his Burnside estate, a 19-hectare tract of rural land and £10,000 to the Royal Institution for the Advancement of Learning. Upon McGill's death in December 1813, the Royal Institution for the Advancement of Learning, 
established in 1801 by an act of the Legislative Assembly of Lower Canada, added the establishing of a university pursuant to the conditions of McGill's will to its original function of administering elementary education in Lower Canada. As a condition of the bequest the land and funds had to be used for the establishment of a university or college for the purposes of education and the advancement of learning in the said province, the will specified that a private constituent college would be required to bear his name and the school must be established within ten years of his death, otherwise the bequest would revert to the heirs of his wife. On March 31, 1821, after protracted legal battles with the Disrivier's family, McGill College received a royal charter from King George IV. The charter provided that the college should be deemed and taken as a university, with the power of conferring degrees. University Development Campus Expansions Though McGill College received its Royal Charter in 1821, it was inactive until 1829 when the Montreal Medical Institution, which had been founded in 1823, became the college's first academic unit and Canada's first medical school. The Faculty of Medicine granted its first degree, a Doctor of Medicine and Surgery. In 1833, this was also the first medical degree to be awarded in Canada. The Faculty of Medicine remained the school's only functioning faculty until 1843 when the Faculty of Arts commenced teaching in the newly constructed arts building on East Wing. The university also historically has strong linkage with the Canadian Grenadier Guards a military regiment in which James McGill served as the lieutenant colonel. This title is marked upon the stone that stands before the arts building, from where the guards step off annually to commemorate Remembrance Day. The Faculty of Law was founded in 1848 which is also the oldest of its kind in the nation. Forty-eight years later, the School of Architecture at McGill University was founded as well. Sir John William Dawson, McGill's principal from 1855 to 1893, is often credited with transforming the school into a modern university. He recruited the aid of Montreal's wealthiest citizens, many of whom donated property and funding needed to construct the campus buildings. Their names adorn many of the campus's prominent buildings. William Spear designed the addition of West Wing of the Arts Building for William Molson, 1861. Alexander Francis Dunlop designed major alterations to the East Wing of McGill College for Professor Bovey in the Science Department, 1888. This expansion of the campus continued until 1920. Buildings designed by Andrew Taylor include the Red Path Museum, Macdonald Physics Building, the Red Path Library, the Macdonald Chemistry Building, the Macdonald Engineering Building, now known as the Macdonald Stewart Library Building, and the Strathcona Medical Building, since renamed the Strathcona Anatomy and Dentistry Building. In 1900, the university established the McLennan Travelling Library. McGill University Waltz composed by Francis C. Robinson, was published in Montreal by W. H. Scroggie, C. 1904. In 1885, the university's Board of Governors formally adopted the use of the name of McGill University. In 1905, the university acquired a second campus when Sir William C. Macdonald, one of the university's major benefactors, endowed a college in St. Anne de Bellevue, 32 kilometers west of Montreal. Macdonald College, now known as the Macdonald Campus, opened to students in 1907, originally offering programs in agriculture, household science, and teaching. George Allen Ross designed the Pathology Building, 1922-23, the Neurological Institute, 1933, Neurological Institute edition 1938 at McGill University. Jean-Julien Perrault designed the McTavish Street residence for Charles E. Gravel, which is now called David Thompson House. Women's education Women's education at McGill began in 1884, when Donald Smith, also known as Lord Strathcona, began funding separate lectures for women, given by university staff members. 
The first degrees granted to women at McGill were conferred in 1888. In 1899, the Royal Victoria College opened as a residential college for women at McGill. Until the 1970s, all female undergraduate students, known as Donaldus, were considered to be members of RVC. Beginning in the autumn of 2010, the newer tower section of Royal Victoria College is a co-ed dormitory whereas the older West Wing remains strictly for women. Both the Tower and the West Wing of Royal Victoria College form part of the university's residence system. McGill and the Great War McGill University played a meaningful role in the Great War. Many students and alumni enlisted in the first wave of patriotic fervor that swept the nation in 1914. But in the spring of 1915, after the first wave of heavy Canadian casualties at Ypres, Hamilton Galt, the founder of the Canadian Regiment and a wealthy Montreal businessman, was faced with a desperate shortage of troops. When he reached out to his friends at home for support, over 200 were commissioned from the ranks and many more would serve as soldiers throughout the war. On their return to Canada after the war, Major George MacDonald and a Major George Curry formed the accounting firm MacDonald Curry, which later became one of the founders of Price Waterhouse Coopers. Captain Percival Molson was killed in action in July 1917. Percival Molson Memorial Stadium at McGill is named in his honor. The War Memorial Hall is a landmark building on the campus of McGill University. At the dedication ceremony the Governor-General of Canada laid the cornerstone. Dedicated on October 6, 1946, the Memorial Hall and adjoining memorial pool honor students who had enlisted and died in the First World War, and in the Second World War. In Memorial Hall, there are two stained glass regimental badge World War I and World War II memorial windows by Charles William Kelsey C. 1950 over 1. A war memorial window by Charles William Kelsey in the McGill War Memorial Hall depicts the figure of Saint Michael and the badges of the Navy, Army and the Air Force. A Great War Memorial window featuring St. George and a slain dragon at the entrance to the Black Aid Lauterman Library of Architecture and Art is dedicated to the memory of 23 members of the McGill chapter of Delta Upsilon who gave their lives in the Great War. Six other windows by Charles William Kelsey on the west wall of the Memorial Hall depict the coats of arms of the regiments in which the McGill alumni were members. There is a memorial archway at Macdonald College, two additional floors added to the existing Sir Arthur Curry Gymnasium, a hockey rink and funding for an annual memorial assembly. A book of remembrance on a marble table contains the names of those lost in both world wars. On the 11th of November 2012 the McGill Remembers website launched. The University War Records Office collected documents between 1940 to 1946 related to McGill, students, staff and faculty in the Second World War. Related institutions McGill was instrumental in founding several major universities and colleges. It established the first post-secondary institutions in British Columbia to provide degree programs to the growing cities of Vancouver and Victoria. It chartered Victoria College in 1903, an affiliated junior college of McGill. It served as a two-year college offering first- and second-year courses in arts and science, until it became today's University of Victoria. British Columbia's first university was incorporated in Vancouver in 1908 as the McGill University College of British Columbia. The private institution granted McGill degrees until it became the independent University of British Columbia in 1915. Dawson College began in 1945 as a satellite campus of McGill to absorb the anticipated influx of students after World War II. Many students in their first three years in the Faculty of Engineering took courses at Dawson College to relieve the McGill campus for the later two years for their degree course. Dawson eventually became independent of McGill and evolved into the first English CEGEP in Quebec. 
Another CEGEP, John Abbott College, was established in 1971 at the campus of McGill's MacDonald College. Both founders of the University of Alberta, Premier Alexander Cameron Rutherford of Alberta and Henry Marshall Tory, were also McGill alumni. In addition, McGill alumni and professors, Dr. William Mosler and Dr. Howard Atwood Kelly, were among the four founders and early faculty members of the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. Osler eventually became the first physician-in-chief of the new Johns Hopkins Hospital. Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, USA in 1889. He led the creation of the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in 1893. Other McGill alumni founded the Shoe Lich School of Medicine and Dentistry in the 1880s.